Well, well. Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute. Oh, boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is, or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. But, well, we both know that angle is cut off. Yeah. Any other ideas, Nick? Talk about a literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't going to talk, even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, It'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. Who's this Dr. Amari? I'll let her give you her life story in person. Let's stay focused. Hmm. I guess we're going to need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... who's coming with ya? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. I already have someone with me. I'll meet you there, Nick. All right. See you at the den. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today we are going to be finishing up a few side things. We're going to be grabbing some magazines and we're going to be helping McCready out for his first companion quest. So let's get started. What is, oh, okay, I was like, what is that bright glare over there? I guess it's just puddles of water and the sun is glaring off of it. I'm going to come up to the road. Just follow the road on down. We're not going far. We're just going to this medical center. There's going to be a ton of uh, bugs. Like blood bugs and bloat flies. 
Well, I mean, it's a blood bank, so I can understand why blood bugs are here. Bloat flies, on the other hand, I don't know. Got him. I knew he was there, but... What? Yeah, right. Damn. Now he's just starting to have fun. We're splitting all that, right? No, McCready. It's all mine. What's mine is mine. What's yours is mine. Alright? You understand that? Good. Some more blood bugs. Oh. And a bloat fly. Find him, find him. Now there's the blood bug. <coughs> oh my god, bloat flies. Fuck off. That's how we do things around here. We're gonna grab this key. And then we're gonna hack this terminal. Now that we have the door opened up, that key opens up this safe. There's actually two keys in here, and we'll uh, I'll show you all where the second key is. But first, let's pick up there this Massachusetts go. Surgical Journal. That's a pretty cool magazine. Um, I think it's just kind of like, an Easter egg to the Vault 111 with the cryopods. I'm not sure offhand, but that's what it seems like to me. Also, I guess we could have went out this way. Oh, yeah. Um, what? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we could have went out this way if we were up top still. Sorry, I was confused there for a minute. <laughs> That is not hard to do for me. Get confused, that is. We can open up this door. We can go downstairs. We're going to have a few uh, blood bugs here, too. There we go. Oh, fucking bloat flies, man. Gross That's ass bugs. Now. Blowflies flies to me are just gross because they shoot their larva at you. It's like, ugh. Here's the second key. I'm not going to pick it up because we already have one. I don't want a duplicate in my uh, inventory. Because unfortunately, you can't um, discard keys or any kind of item that is so-called important out of your inventory or even place it into a different inventory just scooping up all this stuff real quick by the way if you're needing blood packs this is an amazing place to scoop up some blood packs and I believe they all respawn over time so like if you wait a week in game Come back here. I don't think it's literally a week. Uh, but it's a while. And you come back here. There'll be more blood packs. Let's turn our light off. We'll come out here. Come up to the road. And head to our next destination. We're going to take a right here in just a minute over here by these barriers. There we go. And we're going to travel up this what once was a road, I suppose. Definitely not a road now. This is definitely going to be a shorter video just because it's... Um, well, number one, it's not going to be that long, I guess. Uh, but we're just grabbing a few magazines and then helping McCready out. But I wanted to do all this before we started the DLC. 
Let's go in this terminal and uh, unlock the door down there. Now we can get into the Mariel shelter or Mare shelter. I don't know. Maybe it's Merrill shelter. I, I don't know how you pronounce it. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to go in here. Let's grab this stealth boy. And I know that I can use stealth boys to uh, be sneakier. But I just don't like the effect. If I'm being honest, the clear effect and then trying to look at your pit boy if need. Um, and stuff like that, it just is not appealing to me. We should get the heck out of here. Now would be good. Oh, don't be a sissy, McCready. Find anything useful on him? We have a few hollow tapes in here too. Bye, oh, McCready. <laughs> oh, he opened it up. Awesome. You can open up some of those at the top of the elevator. Not everyone, but some of them you can. If you go this way, it's a secret passage. It'll lead you um, to the end of the dungeon. Or this shelter. Uh, let's move up a little bit because there's gas in here. There we go. Now... Let's hack this computer and unlock the uh, door. <laughs> there is a pillar there. Now the magazine that we're going to get in here is going to be an astoundingly awesome tales but in my opinion it's really not that good it's kind of a crappy uh perk that you get from this magazine because you gain one health per minute so if you do the math <laughs> and you have like a ton of health you're never gonna benefit from it i just i don't know why they did that it, to me, it's just a waste of a magazine. Maybe maybe it's just a troll on Bethesda. Like, ha ha. <laughs> you thought this magazine was going to be good. Yes. So, yeah. Regenerate one point of health per minute. Not that great. By the way, the key that we picked up is for this safe. Why it makes us go into the safe like that, I don't know. Didn't make us go into the safe uh, earlier like that when we had the key. All right, I'll quit, rant uh, I'll quit ranting and uh, lockpick this door. Nice. Let's listen to this holotape. Hi, sweetheart. I'm sorry it had to end this way. I tried to build a place where our children could live comfortably. You know, I'm a family man, and know our children come first. I'd do anything for them, even at the expense of taxpayers' money. The mob has broken through, and it's only a matter of time before they reach the lower level. As a last resort to protect our family, I give you well, I, I give you myself. Take my body to the people. Tell them I died a coward. Maybe they will leave you in peace. I left the key to the safe with one of the attendants. I, I forget his name. Anyway, goodbye, my darling. I love you and the children so much. Found the mayor in the tub last night. Locked the door before the missus found him. 
Didn't want her to see him like that. I told her... I told her he'll be back soon and not to worry. In the meantime, I told her to take the children down to the utility room in the gym and wait for the all clear. Situation's getting out of control and we're outnumbered. It's only a matter of time before this place falls into chaos. Let's grab the last hollow tape and then we'll start making our way out of here. Where are you, honey? I've been told to take the children to a safe place near the gym. Are you okay? The children are scared. This whole situation is my fault. I convinced you we needed all of this stuff if the worst ever happened. Now look at what's happening. All my fault. When you come back... Oh, hold on. Looks like the little one's hungry. It's okay, baby. Don't cry. It's okay. Mommy's here. Listen. When you come back, let's get out of here. Let them have this place. We don't need it. Love you, honey. See you soon. That is a very sad story. Be careful. You come over here. There is a death claw. But he died pretty easy. <laughs> also, there is a ammo box if you want to lockpick that and a fat man, which are pretty fun to use. Now this is going to be filled up with scents. An enemy engaged. kind of be cautious and you should be all right plus i mean they're not like op sensor or anything like that they're not coursers <laughs> hello i think we only fight one courser in the game i knew you not sure offhand is someone present nope nobody's present continue on appears to be nothing the sensitivity Mind or the hostile sensor reading detected. Found you. Damn it. So I'm hoping to get a headshot, but he kept moving around. Axes to grind. Hell, I have a ton of them. Going up. Oh, welcome back, McCready. Only a few more cents to kill. We'll be all right. Sensor anomaly detected. We're pretty strong. For our character. After this episode, we will be starting the Automatron DLC. I know I already said that. I'm just letting everybody know again. Let's get out of here. Also, side note, I don't know if everybody noticed in the last episode, but when I went into that terminal and I said, hey, op I'm going to open up the doors, make sure in that terminal you read um, the notes because that's going to further the main quest line. Also, I don't really put um, quest markers on. Um, 
while I'm doing the walkthrough, just so they're not in the way. So that's why you won't see like certain pop-ups. Matter of fact, let me, I forgot to take that off, but we should just go ahead and put the long road on because we're going to have to talk to McCready right after. And it's kind of a pain in the ass to find your companion sometimes, especially when you're going up an interstate and they don't like to follow you. <laughs> Because, you know, why would they want to do that? Where the hell did that roach go? Oh. It's stuck on... I don't know what the fuck that is. Sandbags? Over here is some power armor. For those of you that love power armor. I love seeing the glowing sea at night. So cool. I think you can see Diamond City as well. Mm, we're too far down to tell. I should have checked when we were a little higher. We're going to put one more level into Cap Collector. And then we're going to put the rest into Gun Nut. And is that a super mutant? That is. Um, and then we're going to put the rest into gun nut and armor. And I'm not sure where I'll go from there beside maybe getting bloody mess. That's a pretty OP. Um, well, you're not going to need that perk anymore. I try to I try not to uh, put it in too early because then you just get overpowered uh, really early into the game. And that's no fun. Well, I mean, that's not true. Everybody has their own way of playing video games. Some people like to be overpowered. Some people like a challenge. I thought that was a ghoul right next to me for some reason. Here in a second, whenever I find that legendary ghoul... There he is. Eh, that's not bad. I mean, they bleed for 25 damage or seconds or something. So, no, it's not bad at all. Let's put a uh, level in. Like I said, I'm going to put it into Cap Collector. And honestly, the only reason I'm doing Cap Collector is for my settlement. You do not have to do this if you do not want to. Okay, if you're not into the settlement building... And you're like, hey, I don't want to put that in there. Just go ahead and put your perks into Gun Nut and Armor. And um, not worry about Cap Collector. Because to be honest, um, we really don't need Cap Collector. Like I said, I'm just doing it for my settlement. It's so that I can build um, better vendors. Also, I'm thinking I'm going to use the Silver Shroud. I know there's an enemy up top there with a the rocket launcher. But I'm going to use the Silver Shroud costume when we do the Mechanist DLC. There we go. Fuck you, Raider. <laughs> Die! Oh, I'm such a dork. Don't mind me. Oh, fucking missed. I feel B. eyes on my back. You're Have dead. Have sometime, asshole. <laughs> Use a fucking stim pack, bastard. Let's continue on our merry way. Be very, very careful coming over here. To our right is a town filled with death claws. Matter of fact, let's crouch so we're not caught off guard. I think it's called Natic or Natic. I'm not sure. I suck with, with names in general. I just suck at names. Whether it's people's names or 
City names. There's our death claw. It's dead. There's more in there, and I'm not gonna um, test fate by going over there. But if you want to, feel free to go over there, kill some death claws. The Brotherhood of Steel is in the Commonwealth now, so you'll probably have some help from them. They uh, randomly appear in certain spots, and they'll start fighting enemies and uh, just kind of take the aggro off of you. Let's grab this Eddie Winters holotape and listen to it. Uh, wrong way, Mr. Wayne. Message to Claire Pazinski. Dinner tonight. Me, you, and Arthur Black. Reservations of uh, seven at the Cornerstone Grill. Don't worry. I'll make sure Arthur's on his best behavior. No stabbing the waiter for a fucked up drink order, like what happened in Charlestown. Even though the prick deserved it. Love you. Eddie Winter, signing off. Like I was saying, <laughs> Brotherhood of Steel um, is here now. So that's pretty cool. You can see them off in the distance as well with their... Uh, Vertibirds. Forgot the name of the uh, Vertibirds there for a second. I don't know. I, I like the Brotherhood of Steel. I just don't like how they're written into Fallout 4. And the reason why is because they seem so hostile in Fallout 4 compared to Fallout 3. And I don't know why it changed. I mean, I still really enjoy this game. It's just, I'm not a big fan of the Brotherhood of Steel in this game. I don't think many people are. I see a Stingwing up there. I want to be careful. There's a blood bug. Let's see if we can hit it from here. Nice. Perfect. Awesome. Even better. I don't know where that stingwing went. For those wow. of you, again, You're there's some power armor over here. Anymore. T60 in my game, but that doesn't mean that it'll be T60 in yours. It spawns randomly. It'll be different for everybody else. There's uh, some ammo crates up there. I'm not even going to bother. Oh, man. They're attacking where we need to go. That can make uh, things a little more difficult on us. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, we're about to see... This blow up, maybe. Please do not. Can we hit him? Nice. Uh, please don't blow up by us. They will fall out of the sky and blow up. Please go somewhere else. This is supposed to be a shorter video, not me fucking dying because a vertebrate fucking fell on my head. Jeez. I talk about, oh yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel will randomly come and help you. <laughs> help you die? <laughs> Where is our companion here? Come. Oh, my goodness. Hey, you, bud. Yeah, no. McGreedy. Well. McGreedy. Get your ass over here. Here. I'll take care of it. Over there. I'll put you in the pillory. 
Get into Stand position. Your ass right there. Easy. Yeah, easy. We'll see. We shall see. Let's just jump over this. There's no sense in walking all the way around. Oh, uh, are they going to attack the gunners over here? Of course they are. Just don't blow up on us, please. Be really careful. Uh, the gunners over here have an assault tron. And uh, laser rifles. Right, Pretty strong. Let's take them down. The hell are they? You're dead! Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that was a legendary. Until the uh, sound happened. Yep, there's that assault tron. Oh, my God. Worst situation ever. <laughs> well, no, it could be worse. <laughs> the Saltron was crawling for me. Oh, good lord. <laughs> I think this was a legendary. Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. I probably won't use it. Don't have a use for pistols anymore. I think we're just going to stick with the rifle, which I, I over-exaggerated in, <laughs> in the last video. Letting everybody know so many times. So many times. It's okay, Mr. Wayne. They get it. I like to pick up the military fatigues for my settlement building. Who's that? Barnes? I usually put it on uh, the people that are um, like guarding the settlement. Oh shit. Got the commander. It's open that he would not be in power armor. You can catch him off guard where he's not in the power armor. Good lord. The Brotherhood of Steel made this so much harder than it needed to be. Oh, that's what I was looking for. I'll take the military cap. Where is McCready? For some reason, this won't let me just walk up. No, no uh, now it's making an ass out of me. Bingo. Of course it is. Good God. You're wasting my time. Hey. What's up? I need to ask you something. Well, this should send a message to the gunners to stay off my back. I'm sure they heard you loud and clear. Definitely. To the gunners, it's always about the bottom line. They just lost this entire... Wow. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Hey. Yeah, what is it? Well, this should send a message to the gunners to stay off my back. I'm sure they heard you loud and clear. Definitely. To the gunners, it's always about the bottom line. They just lost this entire way station, and that cost them big. Besides, they have no way of knowing I was involved. Anyway, I guess I owe you a favor now. After all, you hired me, but I'm the one that dragged you out here. Well, I wasn't about to let you have all this fun alone. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Tell you what, I'm going to give you back the caps you paid me in good neighbor. I'll still stick with you because that was part of the original deal, but now we're even. There you go. I guess we're done here. Lead on, boss. <laughs> McCready lost an arm. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. 
well worth it. Let's go over here in this video before this chaos just drives me insane. <laughs> Seriously, look at look at this nonsense. I have no clue what is going on down there, but it's a fucking war zone. All right, let's try not to stutter my way out of this outro <laughs> today. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let, let me know why down in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And like always, everybody, have a great morning, a great afternoon, or a great night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.